Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the. What's good, Ravens fam? So Chuck Clark on being traded, I was ready to get out of there. The things that were said to me, I wasn't being respected. Here's the video. Did you did you see that coming? Did, were you anticipating getting traded? I know the Ravens have made some moves at the position. Um, were you surprised? Uh, yeah, I saw it coming. Uh, I asked for that last year, and uh, they wouldn't do it last year. And so they, we finally kind of got, got to an agreement throughout the year. Like, okay, you know, when the year is over, you know, we knew what was going to happen. So I, I was ready to get out of there. Why? Uh, just the situation that I was put in. And uh, I, they, the things that were said to me, and the position, the position that I felt that I was on the team, I wasn't being respected at the time. So it was time for a new change. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to make this video quick. Um, Mr. Green Dot. Like, was it Marcus Williams? We signing him, making you mad? When Marcus Williams was getting a crazy amount of interceptions and you was getting stiffed on or like was it because of Cal Hamilton like both of them I looked at stat both of them forced to force fumble Chuck Clark had more tackles Cal Hamilton didn't play as many snaps as Chuck so I don't know I don't know it's like it's his sixth season I believe I don't know. Then I see some Jets people are saying he's better than Cal Hamilton. Like, you don't even know Chuck Clark yet. Mr. Give Up on Plays. Oh, they will see. He will give up on plays. Probably punch a teammate. Probably punch a teammate. You never know. But, yeah. Yeah, I just thought that was funny. He was he was upset with the Ravens, and he asked for to be traded. I didn't. I didn't. Shouldn't you be happy that you were traded, which you asked for? But look what you was traded for. That shows your value. That shows your worth. But I don't. I don't get it. He's hurt that he probably ain't gonna have that green dot of Jets. Played a hundred percent snaps. Wasn't even getting no interceptions. I know people are going to be, well, Cal Hamilton ain't getting no interception. He forced a fumble at a critical, critical time of the game. Knocked a mess out of, out of, oh, uh, what, what was our first pick? Who was our first pick? Oh, I think he was like 39 years old. Hurst. But I just thought that was interesting, y'all. Like, dude, you... Um, <laughs> just, people praise them for wearing green dots. I think I said this on engraving video. Like, he got praised for wearing a green dot. Oh, he's smart. He's smart. Okay, what about the playmaking ability? Okay, what about the playmaking? We understand he got truck by, you know. By, by multiple people. You know what I'm saying? They called him Derrick Henry's daddy. But he just hit Derrick Henry pretty good. But let's not forget. It's Derrick Henry. Like, he punked. Shoot, he punked the whole way. But a couple of times. But. I just. Wish the best, best for him. Like. Wish the best for him. You know, before I end this video, it just popped in my head. I'm happy it did while I was recording. He reminds me of Bernard Pollard. Bernard Pollard went to the Titans, I believe. He had that little paper on his locker. Reminded him of him getting released or whatever. And he used that as motivation. And didn't do nothing. Chuck Clark, the new Bernard Pollard. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.